Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. I'm Guy Daniels and in this program we will be exploring the ways in which telcos can benefit from the huge AI opportunity. And joining me to share his views is Yaming Wang, who is Senior Director of Edge and IoT Solutions at Supermicro. Yeah, I mean, we've seen that AI and especially generative AI has already achieved huge momentum. So how are telcos taking advantage of the AI opportunities? So uh, from our point of view, we have uh, been working with a lot of uh, customers. Um, there are largely three categories of use case. Number one is telco can use AI to optimize its own internal operations. Number two is on the network side, um, the telcos can really bake AI natively into its network. And largely, the telcos can offer AI as a service to its customers. Well, let's talk about those three areas in more detail then, starting with business. Can you give us some examples of telcos using AI for business operations? Sure. Uh, we all know the power of ChatGPT. Um, imagine that operators has the tremendous amount of data from its subscribers. And with all those data, the operators can use that to optimize its customer experience by offer competitive products and also predict the future usage of the uh, consumer trend. And also with uh, products like a chatbot, they can offer better uh, customer experiences when customers have questions or issues. So this is really um, changing the operators inside their operations a lot. And what Supermicro products are best suited to supporting this area? So, if the operators uh, want to use the products inside their existing data centers, they are large GPU servers, such as HGX, uh, Family, uh, or others, they can put into their data centers to uh, provide the training and the inferencing. And there are use cases where smaller uh, GPU servers um, can be put into local data centers for improving customer experiences as well. Okay, well, let's move on to the second area you mentioned. Can you tell me more about the use of AI in the network? Yeah, for example, we have been working with a operator that want to use the AI to help to identify the network problems when it happens, and also be able to solve the problems faster, which is uh, today they're using some uh, traditional tools is time consuming and sometimes it's not as accurate. Another category is really bake the AI into the network itself to use GPU servers as the fundamental building blocks for the future um, network, including some of the 5G and the 6G as well. I see. Um, and again, let me ask you, which of your products are best suited to this area? Yes, the, before I go to product, we recently joined the AI Rhino Alliance, which is revolutionary in the uh, building AI into the network. So with that, uh, we've been offering MGX, Grace Hopper based system to customers um, to build the AI RAN capabilities in 5G and into the future 6G network. They are also PCIe based GPU servers for far edge capabilities as well. Well, let's come on to the third area you mentioned earlier. Tell me more about AI-based services. AI-based services, there are um, two use cases uh, I want to mention here. Number one is AI factory, because the large language model, um, as we all know, is uh, uh, for the booming of written the AI demand. Um, really should be customized to its own country or regional optimization. And things is also considered as critical infrastructure. Um, 
operators naturally can be the one to build the AI factory with optimized uh, large language model for its own country and uh, for its own region. So that a uh, major use case. We have been working, for example, SK Telecom made an announcement with Supermicro, NVIDIA, and the Lambda Labs to offer this in Korea. Another part is the AI services can be offered as a low latency to customers where the, where the uh, operator's network, because operator has the last mile, so it can offer a faster response time without uh, um, the large amount of data has always been uploaded to the cloud or data center to solve the inferencing problems. So which of your solutions are best suited to support these use cases? For AI factories, the large ATU or 4U GPU servers are best suited because the high demand of computing powers for a large language model um, would require building uh, a um, many super clusters to support this capability. For the AI inferencing on the edge, typically would require um, smaller servers such as MGX Grace Hopper servers or PCIe based GPU servers with front I/O and a smaller form factor to fit into the environment. I've got a final question for you, Yaming. Um AI is regularly associated with requiring a high power demand, yet at the same time, the telcos are engaged in a big push towards sustainability. So how do we reconcile these two? It's important to notice that AI is inevitable to power us into the future. And uh, with the demand of power consumption, we think liquid cooling is a critical piece in the solution. With the liquid cool, we will be able to put in a twice amount of servers into the same footprint. Um, that will improve power efficiency and uh, solve a lot of footprint uh, restrictions as well. Supermicro has been leading in this area, and we like to work with the telcos to um, put AI natively into their network. Well, that's great to hear. We must leave it there, Yaming. Very good talking with you, and thank you so much for sharing your views with us today. Thank you for having me.